This video presentation was brought to you by us, Networkers NG. We help businesses with intelligent solutions like software, web development, and digital marketing. We will film and tell your brand story for free when you request for a service. Hello, this is Odinaka. In this video tutorial, I want to talk about these challenges businesses face, most especially small business owners. I know most of us have heard this saying that when you take your business online, the magic begins to happen. This is what everybody says. And you finally you got yourself a website, you open social media accounts, you begin to post, and after after a while, everything looks like you've been told a big lie. And before you know it, one year is gone. You have to renew your website. You are considering if it's important to renew the website or you should just forget about it or just concentrate on your normal business offline. Well, me myself, I've been in that situation before. In short, that was the reason why I established Networkers NG. If you really want to know what inspired me to start Networkers NG, I'll leave a description to that video. You can check it out. One of the challenges I see people facing is one, caring about likes and follows. I see a lot of small business owners, they care so much about likes and follows. To me, what I keep telling my clients is this, likes and follows are intangible metrics. I don't see any reason why you should be, you should be measuring for likes and follows. You can't take likes to the market. Rather, I will advise you, you for your social media marketing, you should care about reach because the way business operates offline, it's almost the same way online. Normally, when you want to open a business or when you want to site the, an office space or a shop, you will, you often be told to always get a very busy place that is where there is a high footpath. Right? Because the more people see your business every day, the more likely you are to find someone who is hungry for your products or who is ready to buy your goods or your product you are selling. So, I will advise you care more about reach. The more people you reach every day, the more hungry to buy customer you will find. Aside, aside measuring for reach aside reach the most important thing your business generally should care about is total monthly revenue and total active user for your service or products at least these are a deciding factor to tell you if your business is doing well or doing bad for quick demonstration let's just jump onto facebook let me show you um, this rich thing and how you can make it better your business so I'm on Facebook right now what I will do is quickly jump to my Facebook page my Facebook page that's focus NG then I will navigate to insights let me just see the last seven days as can be seen from this my insight in the last seven days I've been able to reach 4,523 person and the last 7 days I've been able to get 16 likes to me I really don't care about this like what I care about more is the reach so far my business is reaching new person every day and I'm putting out good content with no time I should be able to attract people that are interested in my services or my products if I'm reaching out to a, a lot number of persons and they are not taking action on my business there is another story it's either the content we are putting out is of no quality or it has no interest to the audience or the potential customer you are trying to reach that is another story for another day we'll come back to that that is that for reach another problem I see small business owners face also is not understanding the customer's journey just like the business offline, the same principle applies offline. 
before a customer or before somebody buys from you normally in real life of course there will be a time that he will be aware of your business then another time where he begins to consider your products or your service with others then the last stage which is the time that he's going to take action to buy from you likewise online the customer journey is divided into three the awareness stage the consideration stage and the conversion stage at the awareness stage this is where you tell you tell your audience or you tell people about your products or your services right you can make posts like why you started your business how your business operates just anything to talk about your business these are the kind of messages you're supposed to be putting at the awareness stage then at the consideration stage now the customer is kind of deciding if to go with your product or another or to go with your services or not you have to help them clear these doubts by putting content that will reassure them that you are better than your competitors why your product is better features of your products benefit of your products um, a lot of content that just make them feel relaxed that okay you're a good option then the final stage which is the conversion stage this is the part that the customer takes action at this kind of time any post you are making at this at this stage it should be direct by then these people they are they, they've already known you they've considered you so you are putting a direct call to action to them to either buy from you or download something or just take a reasonable action you want them to take at this different customer journey there are different posts that you should be making that is another mistake I see people making. At every time, they just want to sell. They will, you see, you will see posts like, My DM is open, rush me with your orders. Um, we are open for business. A lot of funny posts. To me, I see it as, as being rude. At least, before you try to sell to somebody, create a relationship. Make them know your brand first. Clear, clear out every doubt in them why they should not or why they should purchase from you then put up a message to directly tell them to take an action maybe at a discount price or any kind of offer you can to encourage them to take an action then another problem I see small business owners have is not having a plan see this is a very big issue I see in businesses before embarking before you hit any post you should have a plan what do I want to achieve with this post do I want to introduce a new service that my business is offering do I want to create my brand awareness do I want to get people to read my article on my website do i want them to watch a video a lot of you should have a tangible plan why you make every post or your series of posts should be geared towards a certain goal not just always putting up random things with that you just end up parabolating and end of the day you see that you got yourself nowhere so you should have a plan let's still go back to my facebook page and let me show you particular plan I did recently like this post you see now in these last seven days this is as a result of two, two ads I ran on Facebook one of the ad is an awareness ad it talked about why networkers NG was born at this ad I tried to reach as many people as possible right the reach was very broad though I tried to narrow it down to an extent to only I tried to narrow it to show the ad to only people who can afford my products or services like starting from showing the ads to people of 35 years to 64 years after that I ran another ad that ad it's it's a kind of 
awareness ad and a conversion ad let me go to our website and let me show you something so on facebook i ran an ad with a link that is directed to this post six reasons why you need to take your business online right it's an ad i ran on facebook and i included a link to this part of my my website now facebook or social media has this feature a very powerful feature which is remarketing or retargeting the ability to create events these are complex this might sound complex or oh. now the plan is this now i will drive people from facebook to this my website and people that will actually click this are people who want to really take their business on who is considering or who wants to take their business online on social media or on facebook there's what we call pixel pixel is a kind of a code you, you plant in your site and you need to keep track of people that comes to your site so i've imputed that code on this my website so anybody that facebook anybody that clicks this link from facebook and visit this place facebook is going to help me track that person so what i'll do the next the next uh, plan of action is i will come back to facebook i will create a custom i'll create a custom conversion what that means is people that have visited this link i want to compile them and i want to show ads to people that has visited this link so now when i begin to show my next ad i'm not showing it to total new set of person i'm only showing it to people that has had interaction with my business like i don't know i'm kind of reaching out to people that are aware of my business rather than just trying to reach out to new person every day the list keeps going on there are a lot of mistakes businesses make the list keeps going on there are a lot of mistake businesses small business owners make while doing their online marketing if you really want to know more you can like this page to stay updated when we post our next video on mistake small business owners make